the Fujifilm X-E4. If you've followed me on this channel for a while, you know that recently I've been shooting the X-E4 um, for these videos and also for photos. The camera's small, it's smooth, it's simple. Don't mind the black paint on my X-E4 logo, some moron before me painted over it. I'm trying to get rid of that. But the thing is really a chameleon. For me, it's attractive because it has this screen that flips up that you can use for vlogging. Now, it does get in the way of a microphone, but I prefer a flip-up screen over a flip-out screen any day if I can get the microphone figured out. If you're a hip-level shooter, the screen also folds open like that, so you can see it from many, many angles. I love that approach to photography. And it's no like an M10, but if you look at the two, they're similar in size. Not really weight because the Leica is all brass, but it's a similar form factor that I really like and enjoy. Speaking of size, if you throw the 50 millimeter Summicron on the Leica M10 and you compare that to a Fujicron, in this case, the 23 millimeter F2 Fujicron, they have a very similar aesthetic and appeal to it. Now, don't mind the fact that this 23 F2 has a little lens hood on it. It's a little different, but they look kind of similar. And so from that perspective, picking them both up, they feel, they feel like similar versions of each other. All right, let's get that lens off. The other ability the X-E4 has as a transformer is to be super small, a faux X100 series camera, if you will. And that's in this case with the 27 millimeter F2.8. You see how small that is. This lens isn't the same as the 23 F2 in the, on the X100 series but it does have incredible sharpness, great characteristics for a small lens. That's the smaller one, uh, the newer one with the weather ceiling. All right, so what about bigger lenses? Well, one of the things you're gonna need is to improve the grip, and that's this thumb grip up here. This is the Fuji uh, thumb grip. It's awesome, I use it all the time. It really changes the aesthetic. And on top of that, we have the hand grip. The hand grip also makes a huge difference. You see it's all metal, gives you access to the battery door and the SD card slot. And if you're gonna put bigger lenses on it, like in this case, the 56 millimeter 1.2, the new one, you're gonna need it because it helps balance out the grip of the camera. I'll explain more about this 56 1.2 in a future video, but it looks a little weird, but it actually isn't that bad to hold. So it totally works for bigger lenses as well. Not ideal, but it's not so bad. Okay, so the video side of things. We talked about in the beginning the flip up screen. That's interesting. It has a mic input as well, so that's really, really cool. But it doesn't have IBIS. So let me unscrew here the filter, and, and here's the 18 to 55. This lens does have lens image stabilization, and Fuji, I think, is amongst the best for lens image stabilization. Now, let's also think about some other things. Now, all mirrorless cameras can adapt. In this case, you can easily adapt a old FD Canon lens, and you can throw a flash on here. This little, what is it, EX8 flash, I forget the name, is awesome for fill flash. I really, really enjoy it. And when it folds down, it's small. And like I said, you can mount old Canon FD glass, or any other glass for that matter, on here. I have a bunch of these cheaper Fotazi adapters. And you go get into the focus peaking in the EVF. It works really, really well. And so, it's for all these different reasons. The fact that we can put on small lenses and make it like an X100. The fact that we can put thumb grips and hand grips on and make it more comfortable to hold bigger lenses. The fact that I can shoot video with the flip up screen and it has a mic input. In this case, I typically use wireless mics, the Rode wireless mics. This camera really is a transformer.